Hi folks, Matsura open house. So awesome. I've now spent a two to three days here touring a bunch of different machine shops and manufacturing facilities. And the more I see it, the more fourth axis and fifth axis stuff is just, it's so, makes more sense. It gets me really fired up actually to go back and get our fifth axis running. So you are? I'm Tyler from Matsura USA. Awesome Tyler, good to meet you, John Saunders. Nice to meet you. Uh, funny enough, uh, we were at PMTS in Columbus, Ohio, and there was a guy, yeah. R RJ? Oh yeah, RJ Reed. Yeah, so he was, I think it was this machine. Yeah, it was the linear. Two version, yep. Okay, awesome. So pretty, pretty crazy spindle speeds and rapids, right? Yeah. Uh, 500 inches a minute, 46,000 RPM spindle. <laughs> so, be fun in the garage. What are you, so, what is this for? Uh, a lot of guys have this uh, for like uh, phone plates, like trauma plates, okay. uh, turbine impellers. Okay. Uh, basically, any small part. Uh, really, this concept of a machine is just a mini version of the MAN 7235B. Okay. So, can, we, can we see, look at that? Yeah, yeah. Multi so, this is, these are huge. Yeah, these are pretty big machines. So. There we go. Look yeah, at that. 32 pallets. So these are all, it's all robotic. So you do the auto load cell on this thing, yep, huh? Yep. That's so, so cool. Yeah, there's, you know, tons of different ways of automation. There's, you know, third party retrofits. So yep. the nice, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Panic robot, the Trinity here, or there's a factory style too. So. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. So this is much bigger. Is this a linear motor machine? No, this okay, one's yeah. direct drive. So got it. Uh, linear guides. So again, yeah. it's a high speed, but not linear motors. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and I got to show this. This is yeah, insane. Yeah. Insane. This is, this is the like the biggest train I've ever seen. The yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, so 5 axis horizontal machine. Look at this. 50, 50 taper? HK? Yep. Okay, yep. yeah. I mean, I don't know if you get the sense of it, but uh, it's massive. You could you could hang out inside it's of there. It's a meter machine, yeah. It's a meter. Wow. Wow, and it's obviously uh, a tomb or pallet machine yep, as yep. well. Yeah, so a lot of Insane. guys, there's actually a really good video on YouTube of uh, our, our sister company out in the UK that has, I believe, two of these and then three horizontal uh, machining centers on a Fastum system. Okay. That Cosworth, All work. So it's oh, it's actually, making engines yeah, for doing F1 or something? Yep, yep. Really? So it's Sweet. Really cool. That's on YouTube? Yep. Okay, folks, we'll find that video and put a card to it here because that's. This stuff is just insane. Oh, so yeah, I, I noticed too walking around this. This has got its own. Yeah, so this is 42 pallets. 42 pallets. It's insane. Sweet. And it's it's actually a really small footprint. Yep, absolutely. So a lot of people think, you know, 42 pallets, you're making 10 million parts of one thing, but really that's not the concept. It's uh, high mix, low volume. So how does, these, the, how does the controller things. know, you know, a 10 is this part and 11 is a different part? So that's really up to the operator. Um, okay. Go back over here, create a pallet schedule. Okay. So it's you just, you just match works. the program to the pallet? Yep. That's yeah, cool. it's, it's that easy. So, you know, pallet 39, that's next in line, status okay, and then that's they're the on the program. program. That's easy, huh? Yep. Pretty simple. Sweet. 46,000. This case spindle is obscene. Fix it up. Lays it down there, and I guess we're going to come around. And I'm too slow. There it is. In the machine. So Raptor just holding a piece of aluminum, huh? Yep. Do you know what it's going to become? Um, yeah, it's actually a divot remover. I don't have any uh, laying out. That's so, fine. Uh, we're we're making it, huh? Pardon? We're gonna make it? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Uh, give me just a minute here. Rock and roll? Yeah, you ready? Boop. Can you explain to somebody who doesn't know what a linear motor is or means for a machine tool? Yeah, I'm not very great at it, but uh, basically most machines are ball screws, linear guides. So you've yeah. got mechanical moving parts to touch. Linear motors are basically magnets. Yeah. So you eliminate moving parts, you get smoother motion, less wear blindness. So there's no ball screw then. Exactly. Right. It's like exactly. your linear rails. It's like a maglev train. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. It, right. Yeah. Best way to say it. Yep. Just like the train. So fast, accurate, precise, all and that smooth. stuff. Yeah, exactly. Smooth. Yeah. Okay. So Interesting. It all, you know, exactly accurate, smooth, um, which all translates into better, more accurate, faster parts. Right. But this is a. This is a detailed machine, not a hogging machine. Exactly, yeah. yeah. 
only 18,000 RPMs. Look at the code churn. It's interesting when it does that, you know, there's a, those adaptive cuts, you don't hear the jerkiness you normally hear as that machine is lurching back and forth. I gotta think that has to do with the linear motors. It's crazy that that Raptor holds that hole like it works. Oh, yeah. It's insane. Yeah, you're holding onto it. You got a dovetail. Yeah. You know, called an inch wide. Right. I'm so used to leafing things down in big vices. Right. Yes. It doesn't tell you the chip load for two, does it? No, it doesn't. Oh, it's an inch a minute, so you're, yeah, it's tough to read, but you're in the 150 to 400. Oh, sorry, yeah, speed read, yep. So I'm programmed 240. Got it. So it's, and it's obviously cool. Out of the cut, it's like 500 inch a minute, something like that. It's gotta be That's what's insane when it does that little cleanup right there. Oh, that's so smooth. Yeah. So it's cool. It's got a, a huge tool changer, but then it's got a little umbrella here. So it looks like you can pre you have to preload tools. There's a, you can actually store seven tools there. Yep. And then there's a transfer pot, a return pot, and then a waiting pot. So okay. a lot of guys on like a machine like this, let's say you got a spot drill, something you're yeah, using right. all the time, spot drill tap. keep it in there. Interesting. Uh, spindle probe, stuff like that that you're using all the time. Got then it. you're not waiting on the matrix to change tools. Yeah, that insane matrix. 330 in this one? Yep. <laughs> Enough room. Right. Yeah, so you're having just a small one. Yeah. But you can't really take it. Whoa. Yeah. Insane. 36,000 RPMs. I mean, when you have the small tools, it gives you the surface footage. You can start to see the true five axis motion here. Yes, that's awesome. Who here's turned the coolant off and then you think, I'm gonna bump it on for just a second to flush the chips. Really cool. Here we go. Whoa! Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. That's insane. That's, that is definitely the fastest simultaneous fifth I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. Look at it go. So there's like 15 minutes left of the part that we're running, but Tyler said he's got the... Uh, so you obviously can access this while the machine's running? Yeah. It's insane. You know, it's funny because in some respects it's out of my reach, or for sure it is, but on the flip side, you start to realize how this is this makes sense. Like, you can figure out how to program this. The biggest thing that for me would be we were just talking about, you know, machine simulation, whether it's complete or some way of proving out your code. Uh, you know, the machine moves too fast. It's not, you know, it's not practical, Tyler, a single block, one of these, right? No, not it, really. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're wasting time. Right, so, right. Yeah, it's with insane. the technology we have nowadays, especially uh, 
you know, camp lead, pulse processor, verification, all that, and you're doing all of that dry running offline. Yeah. And, you know, almost every tool holder company, you can download an yeah. incredibly it's accurate soft, model yeah. that... Right, you know where it is. You, yeah. Cool. So it's there's, there's no way, you know, to slow that down to where you can see it, so... Oh, it's uh, this is a second op. Yep, I see. Oh, so it's a little, it's a little golf. Yeah, divot tool. The divot tool. That's hilarious. That's insane. So you know, doing all the engraving, keeping the tool normal to the surface there. They leave it tabbed. Oh, yeah, there's the tab right there. You can see it. So those are second off that. Yeah, sorry, the terrible glare. Second off the uh, second off the tab off. And so that's a fixture. That's interesting. Um, on a little Raptor dovetail right there. Huh. Crazy to think it's machining that right now, just holding on to a dovetail. Look. Holy cow. Yeah, no tab. You can have that too if you want. Thanks. The service finish on the dimples. That's really cool. And I see no. It's interesting. I was trying to look at what's the locating. It's really just locating on. On the screw hole there? Yeah, so it's still, you know, I kind of whipped it together for East Tech. So, You're right. Uh, oh, wait. Is this demo. machine was at East Tech? No, no, oh, okay. the demo was. Oh, so, so you made it back pretty quick. Yeah, we had it on a 330, okay. a 35B at one point, and then I, I threw it together for this LX for this show. Cool. Um, and, so. uh, and yeah, you, I mean, I see no evidence of the tab. It's been machined off quite well. Yeah. It's insane. Cool. Hey, Tom, thanks for the demo, man. Hey, Appreciate no it. No problem. Thank you. Appreciate it.